Hey, I'm Ben, and we're up here in Brunswick, Maine with Kevin Rodell, and we're, uh, we're getting ready to film a video workshop, but as soon as we walked in, we were quite taken with your, with your table saw. You can't so, have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, immediately it became apparent that it's, uh, it's not available anymore, but what, uh, Almia? Almia. Almia, okay. And uh, we've got a sliding table here, which is always an incredible feature. Nice. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about this aspect of the saw? Sure. So this is the uh, only a 10 inch model cabinet maker saw made in Germany and not anymore though. And it comes standard with this nice sliding table and this nice cross cut arm, built in stop. And then if you need to really long panel, this extends out to 90 some inches, very handy. And then that gets out of the way. That also for longer panels. Very nice ride, very accurate, and it also can be unlocked from 90 and then easily rotated for so, uh, miter cuts. Yeah, there's know. this cam mechanism over here to so you're dialed in to 90, degree, 90 yeah. degrees every single time. So that's dialed in, so you don't have to rely on just the miter gauge. And it's always very accurate, it hardly moves at all. But you know, it's always good to, if you do take it out, double check with the square for making sure it's uh, accurate. Um, it also comes with this small, the baby miter gauge, which you can use for small things and is also equally, that slides, goes on the other side of the blade. I should mention that this whole thing also is adjustable this way. So when I come in, it's pretty close to the blade, but if I put a dado head in, oh, that's, I got cut a couple of times. Somebody <laughs> else used this all. But you can shift this over by loosening these nuts, move it over and lock it down. So when a dado head's on there, there's no problem with that. One thing that's really interesting is most sliding table saws are that Euro style where the table is right next to that blade. But this looks more like what, what here we're in America, to. what yeah. we're used to. Right. Wider table. Um, it's not as long and unwieldy as a lot of sliding table saws. So yeah. really interesting. But the, this is all great. Well, it also comes with a very good riving knife, which a lot of saws back when I bought this saw did not have. And this is a well, really And you bought the saw in 80. 85. I bought this in. And this had a riving knife. It had a riving knife in then. 85. Well, a, a proper riving knife. OK, that's a little mind blowing. Yeah, well, I think that was standard European practice back then. OK. Uh, but it does take a dado head um, if you want to use that. And then there's a the cross cut arm. Now, mm -hmm. it also has. But wait, there's more. There's wait, there's more. For ripping, as you can see, there's my rip fence. That's all I had to do. I'm locked in square. It has a gauge there. I can move that. And if I want to fine tune, I lock this little dial. And here's a little dial. And I can make fine adjustments to the 32nd of an inch and lock it down. That's it's incredible. a really great rip fence. It also is adjustable if your board's under tension and wants to push. I can lock it there. And now the board will flex there and not push into the blade. So besides this feature of adjusting that, the rip fence can slide right out and be turned 90 degrees for special cuts so you have a very low rip fence, I guess for cutting veneers, small things, and does all kinds of things. And that distance is the same. So your so the your gauge is, accurate. is still yeah, fine. The gauge yeah. is still accurate there. But let's go back. Usually it's in this position. Oh wow. And so when I'm done with the rip fence, I can take it off. Or if I'm going to go out and use the mortiser, I'd like to put the rip fence right there as a safety guard. And you heard that correctly. If I'm going to use the mortiser. is right here <laughs> under these bars, which you think are in the way, but they're not. These are very portable, and they're on the same plane with the table. So if I have large panels, they're supported. But they also just lift out of the way. Taking those knobs off. And so now I have easy access to the mortiser. And to get the mortiser to work, all I do is pull up the control arm, and there's my XY axis. Controls right there. I've got a positive stop right and left, 
and I've got an in and out stop over here, which will tell me it controls my depth. The height of where the um, mortising blade is going to cut is controlled on the saw's okay, so height this, adjustment. The, this chuck, this Jacob's chuck, is just attached to the arbor. It's direct in line with the arbor, right. Why is this not on every table saw? <laughs> Good it idea. doesn't seem that much yeah. more complicated. No, it's just like a big drill press on its side. And then it takes you know, your mortising bit, fit it in there, and tighten it up. Make sure it's really good and tight. And you're pretty well set now. Like I said before, you set your depth of cut by here. And then if you want to cut the traverse, set the traverse, you can do that there. These guys hold your wood down like that. Let's see, we have a piece of scrap wood here. Let's pretend we're going to put a mortise in there. So it just goes like so. And I can just quickly change from one you got a piece of board to the other. here to make sure you're parallel. Yeah, yeah, the, this table has a bar on it that is 90 degrees to the uh, cutter. So there you go. And then you can just go in and cut mortises. This, it you... slices, it dices. Yeah. It's, this is amazing. Yeah. So the Omiya table saw, sliding, sliding table saw, if you find one, buy it. Yeah, I would recommend that. You, but uh, you probably but won't they, find one. They're, they're hard to find. They might show up here and there on some uh, Craigslist and things like that. I don't know. The back pages of fine woodworking probably, more likely. And uh, they're great. They're just a great saw. I've uh, never regretted having this, and I wouldn't give it up. I wouldn't think so. Well, thanks so much for showing us, Kevin. You're welcome. Thanks a lot.